So today I'm going to show you how to plan out campaign calendars for e-commerce brands, Shopify brands for Klaviyo campaigns, right? Let's dive into it. Boom. Right. So how to plan email calendars? Well, here's all of the possible campaign variations just to simplify the entire process because, you know, in email marketing, you can only really choose from seven type of, types of campaigns, right? Anything outside of that is either a combo of these angles or why well, it just doesn't really exist anyways let's dive into it so first of all what you're going to want to do when you plan out any campaign calendars or any just marketing calendars in general you're going to want to have it in a like a grid format like so that way it's very easy to visualize one of the things that i've seen brands do in the past before they onboard with us is that they just like have it let's say 17 18 whatever and the problem with this is it doesn't help you kind of like see how everything interacts and overlaps so i like to do everything on uh either some sort of calendar app in my agency we use notion for basically everything so notion is a pretty good choice you just use a calendar database view and how it would work is essentially you know the seven types of uh campaigns number one being sale right who doesn't love a good sale easy way to make money uh, product highlight, testimonial features, so basically including some UGCs, um, press slash influencer collabs, whenever you do a big influencer collab that everyone in your audience knows about, then you might want to pump out an email about it or just feature it, like feature the creatives in the actual emails. That works incredibly well. There's also like the company update. This is not too frequent. It's not something that you would send out all the time. It's more just like one of those things that you send out maybe like every quarter or a couple times a year type of thing just thanking everyone wishing everyone happy holidays etc right there's also blog slash article feature um i've seen this used a lot by a lot of brands where they basically reformat the articles that they use for seos seo purpose which is not the way to go about it the way to do it is essentially highlight a blog but summarize it inside the email driving traffic to a product page that is actually uh, selling the product in mentioned by the blog essentially and lastly is problem solution right super important this is super applicable for basically everything outside of like fashion and even in fashion it works well but only if you're like a utility type of fashion item as opposed to like you know streetwear or whatever where you're competing on aesthetics right if you're competing on material quality craftsmanship all of this stuff problem solution is for you right so now that we got that out of the way what you got to do is on your campaign calendar and this is apple calendar by the way one thing i like about apple calendar is it marks out all of the significant holidays ignore the purple thing that's just uh, my accounting day anyways um Burns night, for example, next week is Valentine's. I'm shooting this on the 7th, right? You're going to think about, okay, if Valentine's on the 14th, then I probably should have some sort of Valentine's Day sale, right? In which case, you're going to want to run it earlier. And also, you're going to think about, okay, do I have uh, fulfillment capabilities so I make sure that they can receive it by Valentine's? In which case, you can work those into your email angles, right? So this is why creativity kind of comes in because you've got to contextualize all of the emails to the time of year. So what I mean by this is, for example, obviously with the Valentine's Day example, but there's also Thanksgiving, right? And also in e-commerce, if you're drop shipping or if you're a brand, but you're just requesting volumes of stock from China, you know, you got to factor in shit like Chinese New Year, right? Ordering, uh, doing pre-orders, for example, and that kind of stuff. Right. So all of the campaign angles, you need to contextually apply to the time of year if you want to make them relevant. And how you would do that is, first of all, the way you do that is you look at your calendar and you decide, OK, which days of the week do I want to send? Having a regular sending cadence works quite well because it helps you stay organized with your marketing calendars. So let's say you're a brand and you want to send Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is three days a week, in which case you would just put a campaign on, let's say, the 6th the 13th, 20th, 27th, and then 8th, 15th, 22nd, 1st of March, etc. right? So once you have those squares penciled out in the calendar, then you gotta think, okay, cool. How do I actually wanna fill these, right? So for example, if you're running some sort of Valentine's Day sale and you wanna guarantee delivery by let's say, uh, by let's say the 14th, right? You can mention, for example, on the campaign on the 8th and the 10th saying, hey, order now and get it in time for Valentine's if you have really good shipping, 
Whereas on the Monday email, you know it's not gonna arrive unless like your Amazon Prime, right? So you're not gonna mention any sort of delivery guarantees. So now by you running the sale, you've essentially filled up three emails, right? And on the 13th, you can stress urgency saying, hey, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, sale ending, hurry up and order, right? So once you fill the sales, that's kind of like the priority, right? Then you can think about, okay, maybe on the 6th, let's say, I wanna talk about a product highlight. And this is a product that we launched, let's say, I don't know, six weeks ago, right? And then you can put that in there. Maybe you can insert some sort of problem solution angle on Wednesday the 15th after your sale ends. And then you can just kind of build out your calendar that way, right? Maybe on the 5th, 17th, you wanna highlight another product. And then maybe in your space slash industry, there was a major article and some news that dropped over the weekend, in which case, you know, on the 20th, you could talk about like the new findings with the problem that you guys are solving and why you guys are perfectly, perfectly positioned to solve it. You can see I've basically just mapped out a campaign calendar, right? Now, you might be wondering, you know, and I get this question a lot from brands. It's basically just like, oh, well, if there's only seven variations, how do we avoid being repetitive? And the truth is, you really can't, right? Like, so, so here's why. So with your product, remember you're constantly capturing new emails and your list is growing, right? But ultimately, there's only a few ways you can really promote your product. So you, yeah, you can occasionally pull out the really, really creative angle and the crazy ass angle. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be repeating yourself a lot. Now, here's the silver lining in that, right? So as brand owners, a lot of the time we can have like this, um, I guess, halo effect around our own brands where we just think, oh, but you know, I've already sent this angle, let's say eight weeks ago, people are gonna call me out for it. A lot of the time it's just, you're overthinking and it's just simply not true. And if I can really consolidate, crystallize this uh, idea for you, it's basically just, you know, think about the last email that you received, let's say a month ago, right? Do you remember the angle? Do you even remember the brand? Not really. So a lot of the time when you send repeat angles, you can kind of recycle similar angles every kind of eight to 12 weeks. And to fill eight to 12 weeks of calendar, it's really not difficult, right? And you gotta bear in mind when you're recycling your angles, there's gonna be a lot of people who join the list who haven't actually received that email. And even the people who have, you're reminding them. You're not like trying to educate them on a new concept because they probably have already read it in the past. Or even worse, you know, the first time they saw that angle being spoke, uh, written, like it just didn't resonate. Either the banner image didn't resonate, your hook didn't really make sense and didn't really speak to them specifically. So even after sending the same angle like two, three times to the same person, it might only be on the fourth time that they actually give some time to reading the email, right? So try to not overcomplicate this and you're gonna make your content calendar planning like a heck of a lot easier. So this is the most practical guide for planning email calendars. If you're an e-commerce brand, book in a call with me, I'd love to do your emails. And if you're a freelancer watching this, trying to learn the craft then or an agency, then you should buy my course. It's pretty excellent.